Hello and welcome to the video. Before we get started, if you'd like to provide input on future content and get our weekly newsletter, click on our survey. Uh, the link will be below. We also have uh, a report on Ethereum 2, along with a bonus report on why you should learn Solidity now. Again, the link will be below. Now on to the video and thank you. Okay, so welcome to 2022. So we're going to start the year off with um, what I think will be a very interesting project, very excuse me, practical project in um, taking our basic Metaplex site and um, turning it into something that we can actually use and maybe even make money. <laughs> um, the first thing I... <clears throat> wanted to talk about is, um, you know, you don't want to do this just using VI. I know we've used VI a lot, but for something like this, where we're going to searching for code and trying to change code, we really want to use Visual Studio. And um, what I did is I installed it. I tried doing app get in. So two ways of installing stuff with uh, dev packages, because um, this is Ubuntu. I tried sudo apt at install, I ran into issues. So I tried the D package, which supposedly is apt get under the hood, but it seemed to work and we have it up. Now, let's have a look at what we're talking about. Let me make sure you can see it. So, because you want that ahead of right now, we want to show this. And then we can show um, So this is what we have now. Now on the side here, I was trying to search. This is a little trick. I want to know, find where Metaplex is because we want to change, may want to change the name. So I did um, inspect and that gave me this. And this is the same page where we have these menus. So let me show you um, this in um, Visual Studio Code. And um, actually, before we get to that, I just want to show you some examples of what we could do. This is a site that is, is um, calls itself Alpha, Alpha Art. And this is a, this is a Metaplex site. Um, where you can buy NFTs. Now notice, um, some of these can be, now this is total volume. That, I guess that's the amount that they sold. I was looking at some that uh, just had, let's have a look at, one. So here's one. Um, 5k items. This is a collection. The floor is 0.44 soul. So this is how much they sell for, which is essentially half a soul. And this individual, this artist created, took a basic theme and created a whole bunch of stuff. A whole collection. And, um, they also have here um, different uh, search, ways of searching. So we may be able to get some ideas from looking behind the scenes at their code, um, depending on whether, let's see something, inspect, what do we get? Nope, it's not obfuscated. Let me explain to you just so you know what I'm talking about here. Obfuscation is when you run the code through um, a process to make it really hard to read, to keep people from snitching it. Um, and one of one thing I worked on one time, they we actually had to kind of sort through some obfuscated code. Yeah, that was that was interesting. We managed to do it. But it was quite a interesting experience, to say the least, trying to look at code that had no 
Generally, there's no character term in line feed, there's no comments. The variable names are often changed to, you know, not like variable names you, you, that would make sense and so on. But this, at least their HTML does not appear to be obfuscated. Now they do have, obviously there's a lot of JavaScript involved here. Like um, if you go here, I'm sure if, that there is some JavaScript doing a search on this. So that's something interesting. So this could be an inspiration. Another thing is um, ArtStation. Let's see. I'm trying to see an example. Oh, that was when I was looking something up then. I wasn't going to go to that site. Um, so here's their marketplace. And you can see all kinds of things. Now, this is a typical marketplace. You can buy stuff. Um, so a lot of artists will sell their stuff in this fashion. Um, but anyway, so here's our Metaplex. And again, we can find, this is one way of finding out what's going on here. But um, now let's look at here. Uh, I want to show you if this is what I think it is. Yep. Yeah. This is our Visual Studio Code. The beauty of Visual Studio Code is you can search for things. Like I can search for this logo. Now that we know what it is, we're able to find it. And oh, by the way, uh, here's our, let me see. Also in here is our menu items, I believe. Uh, explore, artwork, artist, um, let's see, my items, let's see if we, my items should be in here as well. What? And here it is. So you have my items, you have creatives, you have, and this will go, this is linked to, so when you, this is how they do their menus here. Um, and when you go to my, well, let's go to, let's see, he has owned all is all it's the same thing because I put one up so let's see what we got here and let's see art card header and you see here's a a link art um and of course, NFT zero. Um, so we can go back in. I'm not sure what you're seeing. Um, let me show you. So you can see, I did a search on here and we found the art caught header. And then you can go back in, in um, visual uh, studio code and you can search for let's see let's see if it no it's probably art dash card so we got here uh, what exactly will be art dash card and underscore underscore header? And you can see it's actually right here. And Uh, 
Let me see if this is the same. No, this is under... So the first one was the banner. And this is the... So here's our art card and it explains the... Um, this is described what an art card is. And... Let's see. So this is where it will just, and we can, so now we know we can adjust this. And here's when we click on it, we can render it, and, uh, not render it, we could uh, mint it. But this is a way of searching out the, the items that you want to change. So we can even modify and add more things. Um, right now there isn't a search. Um, well, there's nothing to search for, but, um, you get the idea. So one of the things we'll want to do is, obviously, this is a logo, so we'll place it with our logo. Um, we'll see about these menus. We may want the different color. Um, and, uh, see what we can come up with, um, you know, make it our, make it our own rather than this is generic, as opposed to this, which is clearly alpha art. I mean, it's got its own traits, its own I mean, its own um, branding. It's got information and different things. So, um, and we can get some ideas from here. Um, maybe try to get a see how they search, search on their collections or filter because that does not appear to be in here by default. Um, I believe they're using AR Weave. Um, yeah, we know, know they are because we had to put that in the config for the, gum, for the um, candy machine. So my guess is they're using AR Weave uh, here. And we do inspect. Yeah, you can see right here. Oh, let me make this bigger. Let me make sure you're seeing it as well. Cause it, yeah, let me bring this up. Uh, so you can see it. All right. Now notice here. Oh, I went to. Notice here. Let me make this skinnier so you can see it. There it's location, arweave.net and a location and a vid. This is a video. So you can see how this is going to work. This is the reference. This might be a problem. My guess is, let's open this in a new tab and see what we got here. My guess is this is the metadata. Okay. Yeah. This is probably the metadata. So you can find out how this thing works under the hood and then modify it to your liking. Um, so anyway, hopefully this has been interesting and informative and uh, I think this is very exciting and it gives me an excuse to make stuff and stick it up there. <laughs> you know, you have to have, you, you, if you're going to have this, you got to have stuff in it. So um, anyway, I will speak to you next time. Take care.